guys and welcome back to another video today we're actually not reacting to anything we are actually doing a season six recap um as you know throughout this uh series i like to do recap videos of um the season as a whole i'll do the same thing for my other shows as well and i'll go through things i didn't like things i liked favorite episode least favorite episode favorite character least favorite character all these things um so I'm excited to get into this just as I have gone through all the other seasons. Uh, as a whole, season six, um, I liked. I thought it was solid. Was it my favorite season? No. Was it a solid season? Absolutely. I thought season six as a whole was actually pretty good. There were a lot of things I liked about it. But there are also some things I didn't like about it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the things I didn't like about it very, very quickly because no one likes talking about those. And I want to talk about things that I really, really liked. So um, the things that I didn't like, which I'm sure everybody knows and everyone is predicting me to say, which is very true if you've seen my reactions to any of this season so far, um, it is that the Lana drama in Lexato. I did not like it. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, at first it was kind of cute. The first couple seasons, it was almost like this cute infatuation that Lex had with Lana. But I hate the fact that they actually put them together. And then on top of that, the first couple of episodes, they were okay. They were cute. They had some chemistry. You're like, okay, I can see why. Majority of the season, I could not stand them. I could not stand their lies. I could not stand this, their relationship, who these characters were when they were with each other. Like, everything that had to do with Lexana, I hate it. You had... Um, hold on, I need some water. Um... You had Lex becoming full villain, which is kind of a like too, just because we know that like he's going to become a villain, which is awesome. But like he was pure evil when he falsely claimed that like Lana was pregnant and like got her hormones all up in her to make her think she was pregnant. Then they got married, and then you know Lana throughout this whole thing was to me it was just she was so naive towards the evilness of Lex, like she'd known him for years. All the him or her defending him all the time, all the shit. I was so annoyed. But, but I know all the Lana bashers are coming at me right now, or the Lana lovers are coming at me right now for my Lana bashing. The last couple episodes, especially I think starting about Nemesis ish, loved her. She was a badass trying to get out from under the Luther's thumb, try to do all these things. And then the finale, like when, when she, you know, she finally, you know, got the guts to actually leave him. He slaps her and she's like, that's the last time you'll ever touch me. I was like, yes, Lana. This is the Lana I like. Thank you. But that was few and far between. That was like maybe a couple episodes where I actually liked Lana this season. Other than that, I thought she was melodramatic. I thought she was entitled. I thought like Sana was toxic, beyond toxic. And um, I hated the fact that they actually went there because I feel like the only reason they went there was to create this unnecessary triangle and to have another reason why Lex and Clark are, gonna, are, are enemies and why they hate each other. And I'm like, you don't need that. You don't need a woman to be the reason that this happens. There's so many other things that you could do and I hated that. Um, so that whole season arc of Lexana, I'm glad they're over, but it also kept Kalana in here. We are on season, we, this is six seasons completed. Six seasons completed and we know that Clark is not going to be with Lana. They've been together for like half a season. And that was like half of season five. And it's been, will they won't do the pining and the, the they, they can't ever work. They get, like, there are some scenes where I'm like, you know what, I'm kind of rooting for them. But at the same time, the minute they get together, it doesn't work. And it's just, can we move on? I am tired of this because if they were like the in game couple, whatever, like, I'd actually be really pissed if they were because they've only been together for like, again, half a season. But like, 
He's not meant to be with Lana. Why? I would love it if she was in this show to be his, like, one of his best friends. That would be awesome. It's just, I feel like they're going to keep hammering this when I'm done. Lois has been on the show since season four. She's been on here for three seasons. And... We all know he's going to end up with Lois. Why? Why do we keep hammering Lana? Why? Anyway, okay, that was that rant. Um, we are done. There are some other things I also did not like about the season, and one is Clark. It seems like whenever Lana is involved, Clark turns into a wimpy little boy who, you know, it's just, it's, it's annoying. And when Clark waited... There were two things that annoyed me to death, and that is he waited until the freaking wedding day to say anything to Lana. He wanted to tell her his powers and everything. He waited until he was realized that he was going to lose her forever. He's like, oh shit, I have to do this now or I'm going to lose her. And he did the same thing with telling her his powers at the very end of the season, even though she already knew. He didn't know that. But like... He waited until it was like the last possible scenario, which meant he didn't really want to tell her in the first place. It's like, dude, if you wanted to tell her, you would have told her at like a more opportune time. But you wait until you realize that, oh shit, like I'm going to lose her. So this is my last resort. I'm going to do this because there I have nothing else left. And it's like, that is not the reason to tell somebody your powers. That is awful. Um... Again, I, I, if you watch my reaction to Promise, you'll see that I, I ripped into Clark. So I was annoyed with him. Um, and I annoyed with him at the end when, again, the end of the season, he finally fesses up after she says she's leaving forever. It's like, now we can be together. I'm like, no, that doesn't fix everything, Clark. Are you that naive? Like, what are we doing? Again, this goes back to how Clark is around Lana, and it just it annoys me because when he's not around Lana, I feel like he's a much more confident, much more go-getter sort of character, uh, which we'll get more into when, about the things I liked about this season. But when it comes to Lana, he just he reverts back to like high school, mooning over her sort of guy. And I'm just like, I, I can't stand it. Um, but off of that, um, other things I did not like, uh, Lionel, which is surprising because I love Glover. I think he is great as Lionel Luther. The whole flip-flopping this season of, is he good? Is he bad? Whose side is he on? I'm like, no, pick a lane, pick a side. If you, like, that's why I love season three because Lionel was epic, evil Lionel. And I loved him because he was that character and he knew who he was. He was like, this is great. But now he's like, I'm doing it to protect Clark. I'm actually going to kill Clark. Like, what's going on? Who are you? What are you doing? I did not like how he's kind of like in the middle. Um, so the flip-flopping of Lionel, not my favorite. Um, this is, oh, shit. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm on my notes. So like I have all these notes here and I realized I, there was one thing that um, I want to mention. Again, I, I I feel like I'm harping on this, but I feel like I need to get this out and I'll be good. Um, but we're going back to the Clark and Lana relationship. It's, if you think about this in real life, take a step back, no superheroes, no whatever. You have gone back and forth with somebody for a long time and they end up not only kissing your best friend, your ex best friend who is now your mortal enemy like if you think about someone who's your best friend and all of a sudden they are your worst enemy they're just it's just this relationship is just horrendous and not only the girl you love or the guy you love not only kisses this person they don't just date this person they don't sleep with this person they don't just fall in love with this person. They freaking marry this person. And yes, I know Lana did it to protect Clark, but like he didn't know that. But like, how in the world, how can you want to be with this person still? How? Like, if you think about just on a basic human level, you're the girl you love or the guy you love, the person you love, whatever you're into, whatever, the, the person you love, 
is now marrying your biggest enemy that you have on this planet who used to be your best friend. You would not forgive them. You would not be friends with them. You would not want to be in a relationship with this person. So to me, that is the most unrealistic thing about this season is at the very end that Clark still wants to be with Lana. And, and like, I, like, and that's like, he obviously, he doesn't know all the ins and outs and I get that. But like, if all you know is that, oh, she's pregnant with Lex's baby. Oh, she's engaged to Lex. Oh, she married Lex. Why would you still want to be with this person? Like, what? Why would, anyway, anyway, enough with that. Um, I know everybody has turned this off by now, but we are going to still keep going. I am, I promise, I promise that's done. Um, there are two other things I did not like about this, and then we will get into positives, I promise, because it was a solid season. It was good. Please stay, stick with me. Um, there are a couple minor things that I also didn't like. One, um, I would want to know how many phantoms there were that got out of the phantom zone, because that was a cool, overarching, um storyline that i loved again we'll get into a lot of that and the likes um but i would like to know like how many were there and how many we still have that would have been cool like a counter because now i'm like okay we got this last phantom in the finale but is that the last one do we know that like it would have been cool to just be like do we have one left to recapture like i would have liked that again really minor um I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the whole Chloe having a power. I just felt like they were just trying to give her something to do outside of being the research girl for Clark. Um, and because it didn't really, like, it only came into fruition until the finale. Like, it didn't, the only thing that we got out of it was Wonder Woman, which is awesome. Like, I'm so glad we got Wonder Woman, but... It, there was it, it, we did nothing with it until the finale um so i'm like eh well we'll see what they do in season 7 with it um but it was kind of like i don't i don't know how i feel about it quite yet i think i want to wait and see how that all goes and then um i love jimmy i do i think he's a great i think he's really sweet but sometimes i feel like he's a little bit of a was and a little bit of a pushover and i kind of wish he would stand on his own and stand his ground a little bit more but again, these last couple of points, they're very minor. They're so minor in the big scheme of things. Um, but yeah, so that was the dislikes. So if you have stuck with me <laughs> through now, thank you very much because we are getting to a lot happier things. Because like I said, at the very top, I really did like this season. Was it my favorite season? No, but it was very solid. And there were a lot of things I liked about this season. Um, one, I already talked about it, the phantoms and this whole journey of what he was trying to do with like capturing the phantoms and getting them back in, you know, into the phantom zone. I thought that was a great quest for Clark to go on. Um, I thought it was a great overarching uh, storyline for the season. I thought it was great. They, and it allowed to bring in a lot of, you know, celebrities, which is awesome. Like, I think they had, like, it seems like they had probably a deal with, like, wrestling or something because they brought in a whole bunch of, like, wrestlers. Um, we got Batista. We got Kane. We got a whole bunch of people. We got a little Bow Wow. I mean, we ended up getting Wonder Woman, you know, for crying out loud. That was awesome. All the cameos was awesome. I love seeing Clark go up against people who could really give him a fight. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was a good um quest for him to go on for this season and a good reason why he hadn't gone to uh, training yet because obviously he has to take care of these guys who are going to kill a whole bunch of people you know he can't just like leave the planet which i get so cool i love that storyline that the overarching storyline with the zoners was awesome i loved it and i love how at the end it accumulated because lex had gotten you know um, the DNA of all of these zoners to be able to create like this super weapon and Wes, which is actually a really cool way to tie in everything in. Like I really, really enjoyed that. I thought that was awesome. Um, and it allowed Clark to be a lot more proactive 
than just like hanging out on the farm and waiting for people to be in trouble, which I understand in high school, you do that completely. But I'm like, you've been out of high school for two years now. Like, what are we doing? Which brings me to one of my highlights of the season was Oliver Queen. Yes, we got introduced to Green Arrow. And uh, I think we got pretty much almost all of the Justice League in here, except for like Wonder Woman um, and like Batman. Uh, but I think I was reading that like they couldn't get them because they were like too big of names. So they got kind of the, the smaller guys. But anyway, the point is we had Oliver Queen, Justin Hartley, who I love from This Is Us. He looks like a baby in this season compared to This Is Us. But uh, I thought it was great. I loved his portrayal of Oliver Queen. Obviously very different from Stephen Amell, who was much more gritty, much more down to earth, much more dark. But this was very much, uh, you know, he was, you know, the playboy rich guy who very charming, very charismatic. Um, and I loved his relationship with Clark in terms of they have completely different ideologies and completely different way of thinking. Like Clark is very much black and white. Everybody deserves saving. I have hope in everybody, which is his strength and his downfall, which I think Martha and John, like a lot of people I mentioned over and over again, but this is Superman. Like that's a part of who he is. But then you have Oliver who is very much um, gray. He's very much shades of gray where if the ends justify the means, he'll do it. And Clark doesn't have that. Like there was an episode, I think I just edited it out um where i think it was rage where oliver is taking these drugs so like he can heal so he can go out and save people so for him yeah he gets like little temper tantrums which turn out to actually like be bad but like he justified these means he's like i will do this because i am doing something better which clark would never do um so that ideology is butting heads, but I think that's great for both characters and have both characters grow who they have the same objective is to save people, to bring justice to the world. Um, and when you have that, when you have the same passion and the same goal in mind, when you have two people who do it about different ways, I think you can definitely learn from each other. And I think they definitely did. And, um, I loved that, that Oliver challenged Clark to like, get his ass off the farm <laughs> and like what what are you doing like we have a crime spree in metropolis where are you i'm out here doing this by myself like you have all these powers what are you doing and i thought that was a great lesson for clark to learn is to get your ass off the couch like i know i know he's got the zoners going on and doing all that shit but like i'm glad that he at least started you know the idea that clark could be doing more than just like waiting for the people he loves and cares about gets in trouble to actually be proactive which I think is freaking awesome. Um, and I also loved Oliver and Lois. I really did. I thought they were great, that they had great chemistry. Uh, I mean, how can you not have two very beautiful people be together? You're just like, and have great chemistry the, the way that they did. Oh man, I was rooting for them. Like, we all know that Clark and Lois are gonna end up together, it, but like, in this time, I just, I thoroughly just, even though I knew it wasn't going to last, I actually thoroughly just enjoyed this relationship. I thought it was great and it broke my heart when Oliver had to break up with Lois. I, it broke both of me to see them so sad. But, you know, Oliver, you know, he, at the end of, um, I think it was the Justice League episode, he was like, I got, you know, I got a world I got to save, even though he can't tell her that. But, you know, his, he put his duty above her in this relationship. And it sucks because, like, you could see how heartbroken they both were. And it was just, oh, it was so sad. But, like, we all know it wasn't going to last. But I thoroughly enjoyed the relationship while it lasted. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed him. Like, I definitely missed him in the second half of this season. Absolutely. Um, so, that, um... We got, I, again, I think I mentioned this when I was talking about the dislikes, but oh, you know what I like? The last couple of episodes, Badass Lana. Hell yeah, let's go. When she was trying to get under Lionel's, Lionel and Lex's thumb and was playing their game and doing everything that she was doing to kind of, I was like, yes, 
take take back your life do do this girl like i was all for it i loved after um i think it was in like nemesis is kind of when i started to like lana again a little bit i was just like okay like hey now you're turning into a little bit of a badass like okay like you're redeeming yourself a little bit here i did like badass lana especially you know at the very end you know uh i mentioned this before but god i can't get over that line just like that's the last time you ever touched me i'm like get it girl let's go i did love that um i also got our final power which is crazy thing about everything that had happened we got our last power outside of flight um which was the super breath so i was surprised that happened in this season like i thought it was like season five or before but no this was at the very beginning of the season cool we got all of our powers except for flight which is awesome um let's see um we also have lois finally getting into journalism and working for the inquisitor so now she is becoming slowly but surely she's becoming the lowest lane we all know and love especially when like uh the one where um lois is in like the red jumpsuit and like she's trying to follow the story with with i think it was kane i think um i think that's who it was but um so Again, classic Lois and Clark, where they end up at the same location through different means, but they end up at the same spot. That was great. Again, Investigator Lois, who we all know and love, or know who she's going to be. And at the very end, when she's going after the senator and going and trying to take down Lex for um, destroying and killing Wes, her first kiss, which was so cute. That was adorable. Um, but yeah, so we're getting into the Lois. Lois is finally becoming Lois, which is fantastic. And um, I, I've loved her journey so far. And I love that she is, she has been getting into journalism this season, which is great. Um, and finally, I really did love the character of Jimmy, who was brought in and uh, I loved, I thought the Jimmy and Chloe relationship was really cute. I love that she is no longer just like fawning over Clark. She has her own love interest. Thank you, show. She deserves all the love. I love Chloe. So um, I thought her and Jimmy were adorable. I loved them together. So cute. I also loved the Jimmy and Clark um, friendship. I thought they were awesome. And um, I know it's a little thing, but like I've seen a couple episodes of... Um, Lois and Clark from like the 90s with uh, Terry Hatcher. I've seen a few of those. And um, I just love because of CK. I know it's a small thing, but I love how Jimmy just calls him CK. It's freaking awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad they introduced Jimmy. Um, I'm glad that Chloe has a love interest and it is all good. Um, so those are my thoughts as a season as a whole. In your comments, please tell me what are some of the storylines you didn't like? What were some you liked? Maybe you loved Lexana. Please let me know. Just please be respectful. Um, everybody's going to have different opinions. I know everybody's going to be bashing me probably for a lot of my takes, which is fine. I'm I I, I told them, so I'm standing standing here saying them. But just it's so easy to attack people behind a computer. So. If you attack somebody disrespectfully, you are going to get blocked and you're going to get like, it's just, it's not going to work. Um, if we can have a proper conversation where we respect each other's opinions, awesome. Those are the ones I want. So what were some of the storylines you liked and didn't like? Please let me know in the comments, but please be respectful of me and be respectful of everybody else that's in the comments. Um, so we are going to... Uh, favorite character and least favorite character. Um, again, we'll start with least and go to favorites. I think everybody can kind of predict. Least favorite was Lana. I've been through it. I don't need to go through it again. Um, my favorite, I think, was Oliver. I think he was a brush of ugh, a fresh a, br a breath of fresh air. Wow, how can I not get that saying? I've been rambling on for way too long. I've been rambling on. Um, he was a breath of fresh air. I loved his character. I thought he was charismatic. I thought he was fun. I thought he brought a lot to the show. I really missed him in the second half. And I thought he challenged Clark in ways that a lot of other characters couldn't and didn't. And I love that they, they brought him in. And I really hope he returns. I kept mentioning him and the Justice League again and again. So I'm hoping they do bring them back. Um, he was definitely my favorite character of this season. Because I, I, I do love Clark and I love Lex. But... 
Clark got really annoying. I was really annoyed with Clark and a lot of his decisions this season. And Lex, I just thought he wasn't the badass Lex I love. I thought with his relationship with Lana, he was just kind of, he was a, a, well, it was a little sap towards her and just had these Lana blinders on that everybody seems to have that made him kind of a weaker character. Um, but then towards the end of the season, I mean, like he didn't really have those blinders on anymore. He became badass Lex again. But as a whole, Oliver Queen, love him so much. And uh, I really hope they bring him back because Justin did a great, great job as Oliver Queen. Uh, so we're going to get into favorite episodes and least favorite episodes. So my bottom three episodes, um, number three was Noir. Um, I could tell what they were trying to do. Like, I thought it was cool, like, doing that genre, going back to, like, the 40s. I thought everybody looked fantastic. Um, and you had the whole, like... Um, Clark being a cop and like an undercover, like, yeah, it's just an undercover, like the, the whole thing was just like, it was fun, but it felt very filler. Like, I felt like you didn't even need it and it would have been fine. Like, it just felt like a waste of an hour, to be honest. Um, Cause nothing, I don't think anything substantial came of it, except for like the video that they got of the Senator, but in the next episode we deal with the Senator. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, number two of my least favorite was Static, was the one where Lex and Lana are, like, transported, like, through a frequency, and this guy tries to, like, blame Lex for, like, 33.1 and everything, and then Clark is in, like, Seattle for some reason, dealing with, um, you know, a phantom out there with a guy, I'm... I'm drawing a blank at this moment, but the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, which everybody's going to yell at me in the comments for, like, it's this guy. I'm like, I know. Just in this moment, I'm having a brain fart. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Batista. There you go. Um, I just wasn't a big fan. Um, I thought it was, like, it was weird with the whole frequency thing. And you had two, you had too little Clark and too much of Lexana. And then the the worst episode of the season, I'm sorry, Subterranean. I thought it was a weak premise, weak villain, everything about it. I just, I didn't care. Um, I understand what they're trying to go for with like, okay, so this kid is from Mexico. So he is, you know, like an alien to this country. This is the way Clark is an alien. Like, I understand what they're trying to do with that. But it just didn't land. It felt very flat. And it's just not a good episode. That's probably my least favorite of this season. But that means we're going to get into favorite episodes. Yes. Uh, favorite episodes. My top three. My third one has to be Nemesis. Like, it was so good. With, honestly, the thing that made this episode was just the Lex and Clark butting heads. And just them just hashing everything out and just talking about how were we ever really friends and how could you blackmail Lana into marrying you and like obviously Lex didn't know that like all these things so good Lana being threatening to Lionel being like I am not going to be you know manipulated by you and her taking control of her life and um that was awesome was badass um and that scene between when she, like, went up to Clark and, like, they had, like, this, like, no dialogue and, like, they had this heart-to-heart, -heart, like, she put her hand on his chest or something and then, but she had to, like, go to Lex and you could see, like, oh, it was just so beautiful. You could see, like, she didn't want to go to Lex and she, like, her heart was with Clark. It was just, it was so beautifully done and beautifully shot. Uh, as much as I don't want them to go back to this. That was beautifully done. Gorgeously done. Um, like, that was a great episode. Um, number two on my favorite episodes was Zod. Like, as I was going through the episodes, again, like, preparing for this, I was like, you know what? The premiere was, was awesome. We got the Phantom Zone. We got to be in the Phantom Zone. 
Uh, we got to meet um, a girl who had worked with, was it Raya? Raya? I still can't remember how they said it, but like worked with um, Zorel. And it's like, oh my God, like this was great. And then we had uh, Dark Thursday happen. We got to introduce to Jimmy. And then we got Lex being possessed by Zod and he flies down and you're like, kneel before Zod, that iconic line. Oh, so good. And then you're sitting here like, how is Clark going to get out of this? And he does kneel down, but he has a crystal to stand. Oh, so good. Everything about that premiere was phenomenal. So that was actually my second favorite episode. Favorite episode, I honestly don't know how you pick a different episode for favorite episodes other than Justice. How in the world is this not your favorite episode? You had the entire Justice League in there. You had Green Arrow, Impulse, Flash, come on guys, um, Aquaman, Cyborg, Superman, everybody is going to destroy Lex. This is classic. Like, I know I don't read a lot of the comics and things, but I at least know a lot of this stuff. Like, Lex Luthor is full Lex. And he, you know, kidnaps the Flash. And he has one of his iconic lines. I know it's a very small line, but it's still one of my favorites. When he's like, I just want a ponytail. But that's not going to happen. Like, I don't know why, but it's so good. But you had Lex being full on evil Lex. So we all know he's going to be in about like five, ten years against the Justice League, essentially. It's like a little Justice League movie with Lex Luthor being the big villain. Like, that's literally what it was. And he had the shot at the very end, the building exploding behind him. And he had the iconic shot of all the superheroes, you know. It's not a superhero movie if the hero is not like slowly walking, you know, with the blast behind them. It's like, yeah. I'm sorry. Is there a good super? I think every good superhero movie has one of those shots. Like, that is how you know. If it doesn't have like one where your hero is slowly walking away from like an exploding building or plane or whatever it is behind them, like, is it a good movie? Um. But honestly, I don't know how you pick anything other than that one. The only thing I didn't like about it was Oliver left and he broke Lois's heart. How dare you, Oliver? But, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so that was uh, season six. Like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed a lot about this season. It was really, really good. They progressed a lot of people. They introduced Jimmy Lois is getting into journalism. Clark is actually on this quest to, you know, get all these phantoms. And then he's going to go off and and go, you know, train with jor And, oh, there's a lot to like about this season. I thought it was really, really good. Um, like I said, not my favorite season, but definitely very solid. So, overall, I'm probably going to give an 8. 8 out of 10. I thought it was very solid, rock solid season. Again, not the best season, but solid. So I am really looking forward to getting into season seven because like I had just finished filming my reaction to um, the finale like a few days ago and everybody's in peril, everybody's in danger, everybody has died apparently and I am really looking forward because we have four seasons to go. So um, we still got a while on this journey guys but uh, it's been a fun ride so far and I really really hope you have been enjoying this ride along with me um, and I want to hear what you guys think about season six as a whole. Do you agree with my points? Do you disagree? Um, I love hearing different perspectives. I don't want you guys all to agree with me on my opinions like I want I, I, I love a good healthy discussion but again as I said this before it needs to be a respectful, you know, chat and conversation. I am more than willing. I am happy. I love talking to you guys and I love interacting with you guys. If you're respectful, if you have your opinion, state your opinion without attacking the other person and being disrespectful. So all I ask is that as we discuss season six, the ups and downs of season six, things you liked it and like whatever, please be respectful of everybody. Please do this in a way that is not demeaning towards anybody and we can have great conversation that, because all of us, the reason we're here is because all of us love the show 
And yes, all of us have strong opinions about things, but we can do this in a way that um, is going to be very healthy and a great conversation. And that is what my goal is. So uh, with that said, I am very much looking forward to getting into season seven. Um, And yeah, I guess that's it for my recap. So that was season six. Let's get into season seven here in a little bit. And uh, let's keep this train rolling. And uh, I'll see you for the season seven premiere.